Are you seriously going to make us do this? Are you guys seriously down to watch The White Lotus? I'm seriously so hungry. I mean, there's so many. I don't know if I give you a best, but I can give you some. Like, Sydney taught me to snorkel. I learned how to scuba dive, like, in pre production. I mean, the amount of, like, water things that we got to learn. But honestly, the best memory for me was just cracking up at dinner. I mean, we just get dinner every night as a group. I've never laughed harder. It was so, so fun. I mean, every moment was memorable. It was just a laughing fest every day and every night, so. It's funny though, because Brittany and Sydney, I do remember the day where it was so hot outside, temperature-wise, that it was hard. It was, yes. <laughs> it was hot and hard. Was it the scene where we were on the beach and Jennifer came up to us? Yes. Oh, it was so hot. The sun was right in our eyes and we had to look up at her without squinting. Yeah, that was kind of rough. Everyone. I think we all had special bonds with one another. Um, you know, I really got to delve into scene work with Sydney and we lived right above each other. I, she lived above me, I lived below. I um, dropped you down to her. <laughs> Fred and I got to explore a little bit of Hawaii with my fiance after we were done filming. I mean, we all had to have different exciting moments and bonds together. She likes to stand up for people that don't necessarily have somebody to stick up for. Uh, she likes to fix what's wrong in the world. I was moved by Quinn's kind of searching, but also like urgent desire to be more than what he is, to kind of find salvation, I guess. And I actually think all of the characters in different ways have an urgency to them of wanting to really make their lives happier. I have yet to meet any person in, in real life who doesn't have that. So it's cool when you get to see it on the screen. Oh man. Huh. I mean, Olivia hooked up with Paula's boyfriend before they went on vacations. So I feel like that's pretty bad. Paula would probably hire a hitman or something. <laughs> I'm not saying he would do this, but anyone is capable of, you know, men's murder, something really terrible. He could <laughs> do that, like, potentially.